Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I want to start the vlog. I think I'm gonna vlog this whole week. So I am drinking my green juice. I'm wearing this sweatshirt from Princess Polly. I was selling it on Poshmark because it was too big on me, but I kind of like the oversized look. Anyway, I wanted to show y'all a few things. So let me show you. Thanks to one of y'all. Move my desk and I think it was Kathy. So thank you, Kathy. This it looks so much better rather than like at an angle like this. I love it. So thank you, Kathy. The dogs are super sleepy because it's real early. Anyway, another exciting thing. Let's go over here. I know this looks like a product from like Dyson or something, but it's actually a indoor mosquito like repeller, killer. I don't know what to call it. Does it look so funky? It looks like those Dyson blow dryers. But anyway, we're having um, our pest control guy do the inside today and i guess the outside i'm not sure but y'all there's been like mosquitoes everywhere i have like bug bites can y'all see that everywhere so you want to go outside so i definitely need help <laughs> um but it's really cool oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit some of your devices are not responding i forgot that the alarm was on <laughs> So I almost said it off. If y'all watch my other vlog regarding the pool, something exciting is happening. We're having someone um, cut like come um, mow the lawn and they're gonna see if, because they said, okay, this is like the tea. Apparently the pool has to be like right here. Like there's no other spot where it could be. So we're gonna have them like start digging because honestly like we don't really care um, to see what's up. So exciting stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go work because I have Zoom meetings all day. I also have to go to the dentist and buy the dog's food and I'm a little stressed. I'm back from the dentist and that was absolutely torture. Like, I'm a reasonable human being, you know? I know I have to go to a dentist, but I hate it. My teeth look great though, but it was just so rough. <laughs> anyway, um, I really need to make lunch. It is, oh, actually, no, I can't. I have a Zoom meeting. Oh, I'm so tired of Zoom, y'all. Y'all have no idea. I'm gonna eat one of these little things and then I'll make food afterwards. Also, no, this is what I need to tell y'all best chocolate chip in the world common bonds walnut chocolate chip cookie i got one for myself yesterday and i ate half it's so good i think levain's bakery actually has their chocolate chip cookies now at central market by the way for anyone in texas so might have to take a trip there because love me a chunky chocolate chip cookie. But anyway, I'm about to get on this meeting and then I'll, I'll chat with you all about exciting things. Okay guys, today's project is finally going to be this dresser. So I stained it last year and I don't hate it, but it's really sloppy, really messy, uneven, and it just doesn't go with the room anymore. So I've been seeing a ton of Pinterest <laughs> DIYs on this and I'm gonna tackle it. So today what I'm gonna do is file it down. Hi, I just needed to interrupt myself because I sound like an absolute idiot saying file it down like if it was my nails. I am aware it's sanded down. So please forgive me because I sound so dumb. So I can take this layer of stain and then I'm going to go to Home Depot and decide if I'm going to paint it or if I'm going to stain it. But either way, it's going to be a very light, like grayish white stain. So it's going to look real good, hopefully. And I'm going to change all the handles to something like more like hardware, like maybe black or we'll see. And then I might even change the legs out. We'll see on that. But I'm so excited. So here's a good before. Let's go ahead and get started. I finally got the wall mount for this TV. So that's gonna go up. So y'all are gonna see like a real bedroom transformation. And then over here, I asked y'all in a vlog if I should change the comforter. I know a lot of you have said just to wait, but I just really wasn't feeling it. Um, it just like was too yellow for this like cool tone room. So I went for our tried and true white. Don't worry, I kept the other one just in case. But for now, this is going to stay like this. This is driving me absolutely crazy. 
who made the bed this morning <laughs> anyway and then i heard y'all very loud and clear about the nightstand so i am on the hunt on facebook marketplace for bigger and more neutral tone nightstands and then we're gonna like get to decorating those later on and then i just have a bunch of pillows right here that were like in a box that i need to deal with and my weighted blanket but after this well in this vlog y'all are gonna see kind of like the true bedroom transformation we're gonna go to home goods try to find some throw pillows and get it all nice and cozy update it's been a while <laughs> Um, lots to talk about. It's actually Prime Week or Prime Day Week and I've been super busy just posting giveaways, all that crap. But I decided today to go to Home Depot and it didn't go well. So here's a little update for y'all regarding the dresser. So we got two different stains and it turned out that they just weren't doing what we wanted them to do and we had to file down or not file down to sand the cabinets down even more so i actually decided to scratch the idea of staining the wood and we're actually going to paint it i had to pause the music <laughs> so i'm killing the vibe but here is what he's been doing all day so we had like regular handles on the door like stainless steel and he got these really cool black ones look at the sleepiest dogs the box ring for the bed is coming tomorrow order some throw pillows lots of lots of things happening okay i'm back i just went on the cutest little date night and we walked there i just spent so much time cleaning this closet i don't know why i cannot keep it clean it's finally looking decent but i think i'm gonna do a whole like closet declutter video because this is just absolutely insane um so go shop my poshmark if you haven't already i have tons of stuff there right now i find that shoes don't really sell on poshmark and i want y'all to know that out of all these shoes i wear those and those that's it I need to figure out what to do with these shoes. I might just donate them because I don't want to think about it anymore. Someone suggested instead of buying boot shapers to get pool noodles. So I'm going to go to Walmart eventually and get that. And then I am going to replace those. Do you all see that? That it's like kind of like see-through. Um, I'm going to replace those with these. So I need to go to Ikea because I don't really love the idea of like you see or like not you but like being able to see through the drawer and i just think it would look nicer if it was just all cohesive i think i'm gonna do the exact same thing to that side and that side just because i don't really love it and then hopefully i'll do like a full-on closet video hey guys update it's been so many days my hair is different um i don't even know where to start with the updates because there are a little too many so my hair is different i got it done and i like it we cut my extensions but i don't know if y'all can tell i mean i can definitely tell right now that the tone of my actual hair is very different from like the tone of my extensions so we have to tone my actual hair because it's a little bit ashier than i would want it to be but anyway i have so many updates for y'all we have a tv in the background can y'all see that i got like semi curtain bangs i painted and added the hardware to the dresser so i'm about to show y'all that what else we have so many things so let me show you so we unpacked a ton of boxes this week so we have our wine fridge that will go in the dining room that is the tv that's going upstairs and then we got this huge TV that is going to get mounted probably in the middle. And then I actually did call Living Spaces and they said that it's probably going to be around two or three more weeks, which is not fun. So, I mean, so far we'll see if I actually recommend them once the couch arrives, like if it was worth it. But so far I'm kind of getting impatient. I also have the paint right here to show you. So let's go upstairs. Just look at him my king okay so clearly the box spring finally arrived which is super exciting i love how the bed is looking obviously those pillows are not
not staying um i am planning on going to marshall's today or tomorrow so this is not like a full-on reveal but i also want y'all's opinion because i spent all week literally every day looking at furniture stores for nightstands that are like white or neutral and either they were like not what i was looking for or they were super expensive so i'm going to keep looking but how do y'all feel about me painting these? Are they still too small? I think they're like too short for the bed now. I don't know. So disregard, but look at this. Ah! I love it, y'all. I cannot believe this looks like this because I've never done any DIYs like this before, but I think it looks amazing. Um, we still have to fix a little bit of the hardware. I don't know if y'all can tell how it's like a little bit uneven because <laughs> this is what happened. Do you all see that? Oh. So I was only able to do one. So I'm waiting for my fiance to get home so he can do the other hole. So <laughs> that's what it looks like right now. Um, but I love it. So let me show you the paint that we got. So we ended up getting this at Walmart. And it is by this brand, Color Place. And I did a few different colors. So I did Irish Coffee. I don't know if you all can see. So this one's a little bit more yellow. So this was the base. And then on top, we did almond bisque. So that's from Walmart. We got these quartz. We got two of them. And honestly, I mean, this thing is still pretty full. So it was so good. Um, I love it. So obviously, this is not styled properly or anything. Just disregard everything that's going on. Once I find the nightstands and do like the blinds and more things, I will do a whole like room tour. But for now, that's what it's going to look like. I also need to hide this cable. Oh my god, I didn't even show you all the TV got mounted. I'm so excited. Um, I just feel like everything's just looking like so put together. And we had to bring back the little stairs for the doggies because now the bed is a little too tall for them. If you have any suggestions, like I said, for the nightstands, please let me know. And for the pillows, I'm thinking of keeping the white bed, like bed spread? No, the white comforter, but I think I'm gonna switch out those pillows because they no longer match. I got these from Amazon and i just don't really love how the tones look together but let me know what y'all think and then another very exciting update is that my cousin is coming to visit in a few weeks so we decided to bring this bed into the guest room and we're turning this into like a full-on guest room that way when we have people come over or my brother comes into town or anything like that we can have them like sleep on an actual bed and like we had no idea what to do with this room so i think y'all can totally see my hair in this lighting way better so do y'all see how it's very golden and then very ashy this is not what i was going for um so i definitely want to tone my extensions because i don't want my hair to be this golden but i definitely don't want it to be this ashy so i'm not super obsessed with it but it's totally fixable i really do like the length that she cut it to please ignore what i'm wearing and then she kind of fixed the messy curtain bangs that i had made I wouldn't style them like this, but I don't hate them. It's just the color is not 100% right, so that needs to be fixed. Look look how bad it looks right there. Like, the tones are just really off, so that's going to get fixed, don't worry. Um, but yeah, we have this super comfy king-size bed here. I need to get, like, a bed skirt for it, and then just new bedding. I don't really like that one either, so I want to turn this into, like, a cute thing. But what I was saying is that if we get new nightstands, I'll put the other ones right here so they won't go to waste. And we still have boxes everywhere, so please ignore. Okay, last thing I want to show y'all in this vlog, this is not going to be like a long because I'm starting a new one later today. But so we have this closet in the master bathroom. What my fiance ended up doing was to take over the game room's closet since it's so big and no one was going to use it and he put the majority of his clothes there but he still like brought some of these shirts and then we ended up buying this at walmart this like shoe rack um highly recommend it was super easy to put together and it fits a lot of shoes but that's not the point i was thinking we don't really need this <laughs> because 
I don't know, it's useless right now. I just have, you know, the laundry thing that could easily go downstairs in the laundry room. And then we have these random things that could go in any other closet. So let me know what y'all think about this because I am very set on this idea. Basically, turn out the wall <laughs> and put a standalone um, bathtub here like super like aesthetically pleasing and cute because there's no point for this closet since we have so much space. We have linen closets, we have like a million things. So it's completely unnecessary. It's just holding on to all these random things that we have other room for. And I really miss having a bathtub and I really want one. I mean, we technically have one in the other bathroom, but like I don't want to go there every time I want to take a bath, you know? And like, I don't know, I could do like a little vanity here, like shelving for some products. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any ideas. We already have someone that could do this. So I'm pretty set on it. If we do that, I really do think I'm going to change this and turn it into a two sink or like double sink situation because it makes no sense to me that the master bathroom only has one sink. It just makes no sense. So I'm pretty set on that idea. <laughs> Um, but let me know what y'all think if you have any suggestions or what you think, you know But I think I'm gonna do that because I absolutely hate this closet. Like there's no point to it. There's just mess everywhere. So Stay tuned because I think that might be my first like reno project. I literally can't get over my hair Why does it look gray? Ugh, I'm not I'm not having it Anyway, when it looks really dark in here y'all i made a mistake i don't know i'm not gonna talk right now anyway that is everything for today's vlog i know it's not as long as i promise y'all but like i said i'm starting like a really long vlog with a lot of exciting things coming up so stay tuned for those i am so happy y'all are liking these vlogs as much as i am liking making them for y'all so thank you for like being here for watching them and for always being so sweet to me Stay tuned for tons more videos. I know I really overwhelmed y'all overwhelmed y'all this week with Amazon videos. Prime Day was such a hot mess, but we're moving on from that and I have a ton of exciting content coming your way. So I'm planning on doing like our front landscape this week. So get super excited. I have a lot to show y'all, so I can't wait to start a new vlog. So subscribe so you don't miss out. Follow me on Instagram and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.